Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out today's video. My biggest gripe with older cars like this 2007 Honda Civic that I just bought is the infotainment system. Now older cars like this have old outdated radios. My car has a lot of features. It's got the fancy tilt steering wheels and all that stuff that came out in the 2000s. Power everything, not a big deal, right? But the infotainment system is still terrible. Now this car does have an aux cord port so the factory radio can be used with an aux cord, but guess what? None of our phones have aux cords anymore. If you have like a flagship phone, you got a nice Samsung or a new iPhone, none of them have an aux port. So you have to use dongles and crap to translate the aux port to your charger port and your USB-C and all that crap. So um, it's just frustrating and I miss having GPS be able to be up on my dash and that sort of thing. And this is with all older cars. So today we're gonna to be addressing that. If you have an older vehicle, even some of the newer cars, like we're talking like 2012, 2015, 2018 even, some of these cars have a terrible infotainment system. And to replace that, you can get one of these. So here is the infotainment system in my 2007 Honda Civic. As you can see, well, we have our HVAC controls there and then we have a bunch of manual radio controls. We have a very tiny little screen and when it's daylight and you're wearing sunglasses, you can't even read what the screen says. Uh, we have a disc, single disc uh, CD player, you know, FM radio, all that stuff. And we have an, uh, an aux port. So down here below the, I'm gonna have trouble showing you guys, there's a little section down here for an aux port. But anyways, I'm gonna be replacing this factory radio out of my Honda Civic with this fancy piece over here from iDoing. Now I've had a few of these in my Subarus and they are great. This is an Android head unit. Now this has wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's got your Google Maps, anything you could want. You can actually put up Hulu and Netflix and YouTube and whatever you're watching on this massive screen and play your videos and play your Spotify, whatever you want. And it's all there at the tip of your fingers. And it's so nice to have this when you're on a road trip and you're going somewhere and you need your uh, GPS display. I've been looking down in my center console at my phone and it's just not, it's not ideal. It's not safe. It's not fun to be fiddling around with your phone while you're driving. So having that to be up on the dash is going to be so much nicer. This is a 100% plug and play kit. So what we have here is a full replacement bezel we're gonna take out this factory radio and replace it with this. And your car is gonna be exactly the same way. No matter what car you have, they make these plug and play kits over at iDoing. Now you may say, oh, well, I can find that radio on eBay for half the price. That's what I thought too. And I have bought some cheap versions of these. Uh, they look the same, but they do not function the same. I have bought some of these iDoing style units on eBay and the specs are not there. They're still running specs from like 10 years ago and they are so slow. They don't want to load anything up and this thing is not going to have any issues. The specs on this are absolutely insane. This thing has just as good a processor as my phone does. So this thing is going to do a really good job. And again, there is our absolute plug and play harness. There are some more connectors that we can use to hook up a backup camera and RCA cables for a subwoofer and that sort of thing, but I'm not gonna be doing any of that today. I'm just gonna use the basic functions. I may get a reverse camera and stuff later on, but for now, I'm content with this. So all we have to do in this Honda Civic is pop off some of these dash panels. We're gonna pull out on this. It's gonna pop out. There's gonna be a screw here, and then all of this is gonna pop right out, just pop clips. Uh, there's gonna be some wire connectors behind some of these things that we're gonna have to disconnect. And then there's two eight mil bolts underneath this radio. There's a little panel here that will pop out and up underneath two eight mils, and then the rest of this pops out. And then we'll swap over our HVAC controls here over to this new unit and we'll be good to go. So I'll show you guys the massive difference between this radio and this radio. All right guys, here we are. Uh, I might turn the garage lights off here in a second so you can see what this looks like, but we have a dimmer switch on this thing. So when we turn the lights off, um, the headlights off, it will get brighter. And when we turn the, there we go, daylight mode, and we turn the headlights on, it goes to night mode. Super cool. Um, this is connected right now to wireless Android Auto. It's connected to my phone right now. Here's my phone, okay? So there is uh, the song I'm playing, right there it is. Uh, it's all loaded up. That is so freaking cool. Um, the GPS is working great. I can play games. This is on Android Auto. Uh, I, I mean, this is ridiculous. I can I can sit and play games on this thing. Um, I 
I mean, how freaking cool is that? Uh, everything is here. Everything's everything's here to play. Um, super, super, super cool. Um, very happy about this install. Now, if we go back to the home, it automatically is connecting to my phone when I shut the radio off and back on. But we have Netflix, we have YouTube, and of course, if you want to use that, you either need a mobile hotspot or you can connect to your home Wi-Fi or your phone's Wi-Fi. Uh, if I ever want to use this when I'm out and about, I will turn my Wi-Fi hotspot on on my phone and do it that way. Um, but it has some built-in maps. It has a built-in FM radio. I'll be honest, sound quality-wise, this thing does sound a little bit better than the factory unit. I wouldn't say it's like miles ahead. It's not like night and day difference, but it's definitely crisper, clearer music. Uh, it's it, it sounds incredible. Um, but we can go on the Google Play Store and we can download any app we want. Uh, if you have like a, a race car, you got a Honda Civic Si or you got a Type R or you got a WRX or an STI or you got a freaking Focus RS. If you got like something cool, right, and you want to monitor stuff, you can actually plug in an OBD2 port uh, assuming you're not like running an access port or something already, you can plug in your OBD2 port and then put your gauges and stuff up on here. Um, this has car info, but I don't have it. It's not set up. Um, but you can do the, uh, there's an OBD2 app on the Play Store. I have that on my phone uh, that you can check all of your databases and you can check, uh, check engine lights and all sorts of fun stuff with that. Um, really, I think it's super cool. You, you have everything in here. Um, there's Waze, there's Google, so you can, you know, as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, this thing's going to work just like your phone does. Or even now with Android Auto, I just hit this link button and there it is. But because the radio is connected to my phone, which is connected to the internet, I could do this. What time is it? 9.27 p.m. <laughs> I mean, that's just cool. I think that's so cool. Um... Tell me a funny joke. What's the most musical part of a turkey? The drumsticks. <laughs> okay, so you get the you get the point. But I did set it up so that the Honda logo comes on. That was all in the settings. It's super easy to get to all that. Um, so there's a mixer here. You can set your audio. Uh, you can go back. You can actually change all kinds of different stuff. Uh, you go to settings, you can you can change your wallpaper to whatever you want that's factory preset, or you could load up your own wallpapers and use those. And then you can go into your settings, and there's all kinds of settings you can mess with here, your internet, your, your sound quality. There, there's a beep you can turn on and off, um, all that fun stuff. So here you can see it at night with the rest of the gauges. I have the brightness turned up all the way on these. Uh, I can turn it down. There you'll see it will get brighter. It'll get darker and you can adjust the brightness. So if it's too bright for you in the dark, you can actually go ahead, go to settings, go to uh, system. Yeah, night brightness. So you can drag that down pretty dim, um, which is going to be a lot more. Actually, I, I kind of like it the whole way down. Um, that looks a lot nicer, more OEM, not super in your face bright. That looks so good. I'm super happy with this. Driving this car is going to be that much more enjoyable now. Uh, it's going to feel like a more modern vehicle besides, you know, the obvious old car wear and tear stuff. But uh, I think this is an awesome solution for people that just want to make their car a little bit nicer, a little more enjoyable to drive. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you checking it out. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to iDoing's website where you can find all their different Android radios for your different vehicles. <laughs> Uh, anything that they have available will be on there on the website. Um, but I'm super happy with this. I can't wait to use it for a while. If, if you guys want to see an updated review after a couple months or something, let me know in the comments. Um, but I've had these before and they're so nice to have in these older cars. It just makes the driving experience that much better. You're not fumbling around with your phone. Your music comes on as soon as you get in the car. The quality, the sound, everything is better. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you checking it out, and I will see you in the next one.